Okay, here we are. We're going to show um, the assembly of one of our bin stores. So when you order a bin store from us, unless it's a double, like that one in the background there, and that one there, doubles come pre-built. Literally on a pallet, you can simply lift them off and then put them in place. However, anything bigger than that, such as the triples or the quads, they'll come like this. They'll be flat packed on a pallet and obviously wrapped in cellophane, but for the purpose of this video, you know, we've not wrapped it. Um, so you can see there that all your components are labeled, um, your screws or any fixings are in a box. There are no special tools needed. Um, this is literally, um, I mean, we're gonna use an impact driver on this, which you can see here. Um, you can just use a screwdriver. Um, obviously, if you've got one of these, it's gonna make a little bit easier. And there are just two bits needed for the assembly of this. There is the normal um, PZ2, and the slightly larger, as you can see there, PZ3. That's the only bits you need for this assembly. Right, let's get started. So it comes flat packed, as you can see. So the first thing to do is obviously unwrap your pallet and then just separate your components. So um, we're gonna just take away the fittings and we're gonna start lifting these components and just putting them on to one side. So you can see there, Andrew is just taking one of the side pieces. And we'll put that to one side. And again, another side piece. Now yours might come slightly wrapped different to this, but you know we're just showing you separate all the pieces, they're all labelled, and at this stage we're just after getting it off the pallet so we can remove the pallet and um, start assembly. So Andrew's just gonna move those now. see there the lids there's the third lid for this triple and you can see there these are all clearly marked you know there's um, very straightforward you know what's what lid number three there with three lids over here we've got some of the framework pieces and again all clearly labeled up um, just with a piece of masking tape so these can be removed after assembly and then Andrew's nearly done that now you can see there he's just taking the doors putting them to one side and then the front section which we'll just put there and hold, hold them with that and then the back panel which I'll help Andrew with, just so we've got that. Now, if there are two of you, it's going to make life easier, but it's not necessary. And what we'll do is we'll just remove that pallet out of the way. Okay. So that's that. We've got a bit of an area here that we can work and build our bin store. Right, so to start with, first piece you want is actually this panel here, this back panel. Um, that's, that's the starting piece. So we're going to take that and you're just going to spin that round there and we're going to put that up. Now obviously if you're on your own you can do what Andrew's doing and just prop it up against whatever you've got available or I'll be helpful and I'll help him by holding this. Now next pieces are these inner supports. Now, these are all labelled up, you can see there, you've got left and right, um, so we're going to put them on now, so, okay, right. So you've got a left and a right on this triple. This is the left one. And you can see there, that's marked up. 
the back piece and the inner and the labelled. So very straightforward. And we're just going to attach that now. Okay, just with one screw. And now that, that's up enough to literally hold itself up. So you can see there, that's holding itself up. And Andrew's just doing the same again. Attaching that. And then you just put that together. That's that's now holding itself up, supporting itself. And again, you can see very clear, you know, that inner piece going to the back there, matching up. Um, all these can be peeled off when you're done. Um, very straightforward. So, next piece would be this front framework. Okay, we're going to hold that over there. Now. You can see there that's simply slotted underneath that small overhang. Okay, and again, you're just repeating what you've done on the back and screwing that inner frame to the front frame. So that's very straightforward again. You can see this is not edited, very quick, and already the majority of the framework is up. Okay, so a good portion of that triple bin store is up already and that's took no time at all. Okay, next we want to put the sides on. Okay, you can see here there's a small upright piece and what we're going to do, we're going to take the side and we're going to hook that over and then again we're going to screw that on very similar to how the other framework so Andrew will just show you here so you can see there you're just lining that up okay and then sliding that over the front there that slots in very simply and again all labelled up section D section D the back panel the inner panel and you're just repeating that process of assembly okay now obviously we're just putting in the top screws, you would continue to put in all the other screws and just repeat that process. Okay, so that's the side on and you're repeating that for the other side. So again, let me just walk you through. You can see there, Andrew is lining that up in between, sliding it in and then just simply slotting that piece over that overhang and again you can see putting that screw in there and that screw in there and again when you're building you would attach the other screws and that is the majority of that bin store up and done already you can see that again has took no time at all no special tools very quick and yet already very solid okay you've got um, these little um, supports there let me just try and get that in focus there that is there to stop your door going too far in so that's just a nice simple little touch that we have okay and you can see our support plate that is running right the way through now what that's for is to stop this inner framework from moving side to side when that's got your door on you don't want that moving side to side um, we uh, opt to use a, a, a flat plate there that keeps that inner support fixed firm and that's screwed in from the underneath and it also means that when you are taking your bin in and out you haven't got a a wooden step so if your bin's full and it's heavy um, you, you're not struggling it's just very very simple okay so the next step is lids and doors and then pretty much the assembly of this is done so Andrew's just picked one of them there he's picked the um, the right hand lid number three 
So we, we, when we label it, we, we're always counting one, two and three, or A, B, C, it might come lettered depending on who's labelled it. But you can see there, that is fitted snugly into place. Your screws for the hinges, which are on the back here, are all bagged up and you can see there, lid screws. It even tells you what size to use. So um, they're all in there and then you've got your door screws. So very straightforward. Again, nothing complicated. And all you're gonna do is literally, you're gonna raise this lid up and you're going to um, screw that hinge into the pre-drilled holes that are already there that we've made obviously when we've built this. We always pre-assemble them first and then we disassemble them ready for transport. So you can see there, Andrew is just very simply lining that hinge up with the holes there. Nothing complicated and very straightforward. Now, obviously, I'm going to help Andrew here. If you've got an extra pair of hands, that will be handy. I'll be nice and help him rather than watch him struggle. And again, you can see there, we just, we just put one screw in there just for the purpose of this video, but you just fill that in fully. And you can see there that our lids um, are all proper framework. You know, there's no, no flimsy bits of timber. It's matching Western Red Cedar. Um, it's got supports there to keep it all lined up. Now, like I say, you would put the rest of the screws in, but for the purpose of this video, we'll just, um, we'll just show you. Now that there is, is done and fitted. In the meantime, Andrew has got the other lids. Again, you would just repeat that process by screwing in the hinges, and then you do the same with the lids. And literally, that's the lids then installed, all ready and done. And you're going to repeat that process with the doors. You are literally going to get a door, line that up to um, to the the holes that are already there, and you're going to mount your your door, which we'll show you now. We'll grab one of the doors, as you can see here. We'll take one of them doors and we'll show you how easy it is. Again, all labelled up, but very straightforward. Again. I'll just help Andrew. We'll take that and Andrew will line that up. I'm not doing a great job of helping him. He's, he's going to shout at me in a minute. But here we are. And again, for the purpose of this video, we're just going to pop one screw in there, but you would you would repeat by putting all the screws in. And again, that then is, you close your door, you've got your little latch, um, which just hooks over. And again, you're just going to repeat that process with your other doors. Again, very simple. By the time you put them other two doors on, that's took, what, less than... 10 minutes of assembly, you know, a few minutes of that we're unpacking, 10 minutes. Even if you're not experienced, okay, I, I appreciate, you know, we, we build these day in, day out, and we're putting them together. 20 minutes, half an hour, these things are up, and they're rock solid. So, you know, you've got this beautiful um, storage for your bins. We can build these bespoke, um, but it just shows how easy and, um, and well put together these things are. We've put a lot of thought into this. We've put a lot of thought into making assembly easy. You can see there, Andrew's got that door on in a matter of seconds. And again, we're, we're cutting corners a little bit by not putting all the screws in, but you get the idea. You know, you know how quick these go up. I think that's it. I think we've covered everything on this video. Um, it shows how easy these are to put together. It shows how you've no special tools needed. Um, it's very straightforward. You don't need um, impact drivers like we've got or, or screwdriver drills. A simple, simple screwdriver will do the job. 
just as good. Um, but you know, everyone's got their own sort of tools in their toolkit. But no specialist tools needed. No specialist joiner needed to come in. Simple DIY skills, and hopefully this video helps you assemble your beautiful bin store. Okay, thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.